Hey everybody, I'm Jason Thomas, and as you may have noticed, I haven't been able to post a video in a while because you just heard him right there, our baby. I've been having to help take care of him, and I've also had to do my thesis defense here at Texas A&M University. So I haven't had a lot of time to be doing collecting, but I thought I would show you guys how you can do some collecting when you don't have a ton of time. So in today's episode, we'll be talking about light collecting. And I'm not talking about light like your light yogurts or your Diet Coke or anything like that. I'm talking about light collecting. So make sure and stay tuned for this episode so you can see how this tool can help you to find a lot of insects. Using lights is a great way to find a lot of different insects, though we're not exactly sure why it works so well. Some scientists believe that it has to do something with insects' navigation techniques, and it could also have something to do with heat because some insects will actually use the sun and different light to warm them up because they aren't warm-blooded like us. So I'm out here today at a porch light, which would be the simplest way that you could collect insects at a light. And any of you could do this at home. I'm just out here watching the baby and we're looking for insects to see what will come here to our porch light while we're here. So I'm gonna hop behind the camera and we're gonna take a look at what types of different insects we can find here today. When you get insects that come to the light, um, one of the things that I'm gonna try doing here is I'm gonna try and just get it into a jar. So as you can see here, I've got uh, some baby jars. Let me see if I can just get the insects to fly into the jar. Not quite working as well as I'd like it to. Or just get them to fly onto the jar. If they won't fly into the jar, maybe they'll fly onto the jar. So that's why it's always good to have a couple jars with you. So got another jar here now. There go, there's damselfly. Got him in the jar just like that. What's wrong, buddy? Here's some sort of interesting kind of fuzzy beetle. This little guy is trying to kind of play dead on me here. Pretty sure he's still alive. Even the ladybugs are out tonight, so. One key thing you want to do is you don't want to just look right exactly where the light is at, but you want to look kind of around the perimeter. So I'll show you here real quick. Just here a little distance from the light is a nice moth. See if we can't catch it. Here's a plant bug that's here. In order to catch bugs in a light, it takes patience, and as you can see here, the baby is getting a little impatient, so I'm gonna head inside for a minute. I'll come back out in a minute. We'll see if any other insects have showed up. So I just got done putting, helping put the baby to bed and came out here to see what else was out here and got, got a moth here. I think it's a Geometridae, which are inchworms. And here's our ladybug. bunch of them all lined up like they're at the tanning booth or something three plant bugs sitting in a row up there we've got 
appears to be a midge, which are related to mosquitoes, but they're not biting. Up here on my door is hiding another insect, which is a nice one. beetle. Like I was telling you, you can find lots of things just around the perimeter of the area. You don't have to look straight in right at the hottest spots. You can get out to the outside edges and corners and sometimes you'll find some different insects like I was showing you. If you look up in this corner, we've got some it's like parasitic wasps, a couple other plant bugs. They're just kind of chilling up there, clearing the corner, and getting caught by a spider. <laughs> Which is pretty common to have spiders around lights because there'll be lots of insects to capture. There is the spider eating one of those insects. It looks like it's got a wasp of some sort, maybe a parasitic wasp, maybe a braconid. I'm not sure, but he's just wrapping things up. Yeah, we got some sort of a uh, new uh, moth on here, very small moth. Get some boring colors, but that's what a lot of these really small moths are. They just have brown coloration, and there's tons of different species. And they all look very similar, and you have to look at the veins and on the wings and find some differences. And it's just not very fun to me to try and do that. It could take you hours and hours just to identify one, unless you're an expert. Hello, plant bugs. I'm not exactly sure what species they are, but I do believe they are. Okay, here's the damselfly. Let's see if I can... If I can see the wing venation, I might be able to tell what species it is. Too hard, too much overlap between them all. But okay, I'm gonna go inside for a minute, and we'll check back out here in just a minute. Okay. Most of these guys are just camping out here, so the nice thing about being at a light is that most of the time, if they are really attracted to the light, they're gonna keep coming back to the light. So here's a different species of plant bug. It's kind of pretty. It's kind of alien-like. Very strange looking. It's got those red eyes and just kind of translucent body. It's pretty interesting. Okay, it's 10 minutes later and I'm just looking here and I'm noticing that we've got uh, two micro here now. And then that's another leaf hopper running around. Leaf hoppers are so common. I mean, if you're only gonna, if you, if the first time you ever see one is at a light, then you've got to get out more. That wraps up this episode. As you can see, we were able to find quite a few different insects that just came to the porch light. Hopefully, in the future here, I'll talk a little bit more about some other techniques you can use with light collecting. Thanks for watching this episode, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and leave some comments below on what you liked or what you would like us to improve on and i will take those into consideration thanks everybody make sure to stay tuned next time for all things insects